Musa the play fake. Quick out to 83. Darian Oxendine in a gain of eight. Clemson. He said all Musa has to do is drive the car. And again, quick snap, quick throw. And a first down. Early first down has to feel good for FAMU. Musa going to throw it for the third time. And again, a completion. That's the star receiver. So quick start for FAMU. That's Smith in motion. Jennings, the ball carry in the backfield. A good job by North Carolina's defensive front. For a linebacker. It really Let's is. Let's just be honest. Nearly intercepted. There was kind of instant credibility with the players with his success. Obviously seeing him on TV the past few years, they're excited to have him. And an early strike, Musa to the unit. Musa again to throw, incomplete. Let guys play fast, really just get better at doing less. See if they can do enough to stop the first down, they can't. That's Jennings in the class of 21. Came in very highly touted, hoping to get some production out of him finally. And that's Xavier Smith making a couple players miss. And a big, you know. Really, Simmons kind of joked. He said, this will be an IV game. He's going to need one after the game. He's going to touch it so much. Again, tempo for Musa. Good play there by 23. Third and five for Musa in the offense. Pressure. Good throw. Good catch. And another first down. Quick. I think Jeremy Musa's doing an excellent job not holding on to it for too long. Seven of nine is Musa. Takes a shot downfield. It's incomplete. A route down the field. They want to get him the ball. Pressure on Musa, goes down, sacked by Noah Taylor. From the left side, and you know, really Jalen Goss just doesn't hold up whatsoever. I mentioned Musa had been getting rid of the name quite a bit. So we'll see if that energizes the North Carolina defense. FAMU elects to run on third and 19. Up seven, nothing, here's Musa and the Rattlers again. And you just wonder, Tim, if, if pass rush, and plays into their strength of getting the ball to their athletes on the perimeter. Musa pulls it right, Reed, and a first down for FAMU. Storm Duck in, and now A.J. Davis, the pit transfer, running back in for FAMU. You know, and I think that's why keeping it simple is what Gene Chizik wanted to do defensively. Musa again, a first down, and he's doing a good job. I think that Musa has done a good job of that. Again, stands in the pocket. That's a good shot over the middle. The fake to Davis, Musa again sets his feet, receiver falls. And Musa, another good shot, finds the soft spot. Corner route to Manigo. Game of tempo, Musa gonna throw it back, has Davis, Davis caught, touchdown Rattlers. And they end up getting the matchup that they want, fake to the back, and then you end up getting Chris Collins, who's a linebacker at 245 pounds. Jeremy Musa in at quarterback for FAMU, and he's had a good start, and that continues. So we'll give you the view from all 22, some of the end zone cams. But right now, the cameras we have are the cameras you get. The primetime opener. Wants to give off the left side. A good job by North Carolina's defense. Yeah. Fatigue will be a factor. Came out of the gates fast. Musa to throw. Takes a shot downfield. Misses his receiver. I uh, just think with the, the talk about where the conference is, there's no doubt that those will mean a lot. Yeah, so just over seven and a half in the first half, and that's a nice run by Terrell Jennings. He's running hard tonight. Jung kind of springing him for another 10 yards. Another big hole and a flag on the play there. Part, and they feel like it's going to be a really nice player. Musa, quick stop, quick throw. Starter entering into tonight, and I got another backup in. Here's Musa. Again, quick throw. Definitely aware of who he is and what he's accomplished. Third and six. Pressure on Musa. Gets the ball away. And a good job by Carolina's defense. Play clock under 10. And there's the jump that Florida AM was looking for. And a complete. So they Decline the penalty, Darian Oxendine had a big gain, so they'll keep the ball. Here comes the pressure, down goes Musa. This 
linebacker group. It's Power Eccles, it's Cedric Gray, and Rod Dilworth, we'll see, but Power Eccles has been the guy that's shown up a bunch. Gene Chizik said he can call anything with the eight guys up front. He believes he's got eight players. Moose has got a wide open player, and it falls incomplete. And moved the ball pretty well, so it has been chaotic at times. Third and 22, Moose a good shot. Kind of in no man's land. That's why they're going for it. Tempo, Musa, caught. So here come the Rattlers moving the ball, under three in the first half. Musa checks it down to the back. Terrell Jennings has space, and Jennings takes it inside the five. By Musa, he's trying to work this. Doesn't like the relationship. Comes off of it, gets to the back. That's a really good job, and poise. Tempo for the Rattlers. Ball spotted at the four. And that's McLeod. Sutter steps his way off the right side, pushes through, and FAMU. One thing I didn't think we'd see would be the power run game out of FAMU, but they get it there. And the finish by McLeod. Nine different receivers have caught a ball from Musa in an impressive first half. He's going to go right over the middle. Had a man open. Punched some cameras. It's going to be a hell of a broadcast here the rest of the way. So 41 seconds left, Florida A&M, three timeouts. Moose again takes a shot. It's going to be picked off by Storm Duck. So you heard Kelsey talk with Willie Simmons, head coach FAMU, coming out of the break. Two offensive linemen and already imperative for the ball to come out quickly for Jeremy Musa. What a great start to Florida A&M. So third and four. Moose, a quick shot. Found a receiver open. That Xavier Smith. Lyle Smith to run after the catch. Here comes the tempo. Here comes Musa again. Has to throw it out to the backfield. Terrell Jennings on the reception. For the Tar Heel secondary. And so far, it feels like Florida a and ms winning it. There's a good play. No, gets out of it. He's in the passing game, but also good decisions in the run game throughout the night. I mean, he just looks like he's playing street ball out there right now. Having to respond well to this chaos here in the second half. End around, speed, Kareem Burke, the freshman. So second and seven, first possession of the second half for FAMU. They give up the middle. And come after him. Here comes the blitz off the left side. Musa gets it away, complete. So Rattlers take over at the 40. That's a give to A.J. Davis, the pit transfer. He gets a nice gain on first down. Musa, 219 yards in his first start. Great play by the defensive line. Right here, and, and ultimately, I think that Mac Brown decided, look, we're not going to sit around. Looking to add more points. They give up the middle to Davis. Nothing doing. I've been, I've come away really impressed with this performance. Spread the ball around, nine different players have touched the ball. Moose into the end zone, and how about this? And I just want you to see the pressure that he ends up, you know, having in his face. That ball is thrown. That's McLeod up the middle. I mean, look at Halinski today, Northwestern. He transferred in from South Carolina. Won the job, balls out, North Carolina. Can they force the turnover? Looking for somebody to step up and, and make a play, be a difference maker. It's a good job of, of kind of getting your shoulder on the football by Power Eccles. We've talked about him throughout the night. And then it's DeAndre Boykins. Those two guys have popped up and they've shown. And so I think that... Typically something like that on downs. I think ultimately, in terms of what you've seen from the physical ability, I've been really impressed. Came down to the end. And you, you'd said it perfectly now. Third down for FAMU. Pass complete. That's going to be a first down. At one point, was pulled out of the game. You know, because he was struggling. I think maybe it was a Wake Forest game. Problem for them last year. And Jack Bicknell Jr., they crossed paths at, at Ole Miss. And got a lot of experience coaching the guys up front and it looks like it's paying immediate dividends oh what a play 478 does that ball pop out come on rucker being one of them down at the bottom of the screen 
Chizik thinks he's got eight guys up front that he can call anything with. It's going to be a fourth down and out. 